Hello everybody. This session is about programming in HR, which is called HR ABAP or ABAP HR at times. The prerequisite to this training is uh, the knowledge of SAP and good to have is the knowledge of ABAP. The training is going to cover the introduction to the module HR of SAP and introduction to InfoType, its concept, creation and enhancement and why and how ABAP HR is different from conventional uh, ABAP. So when you first hear about HR, what comes in your mind is this, a human. And you're absolutely right, because SAP HR module saves anything that an uh, organization would want to save about its employee. Maybe its name, date of birth, joining date, or its salary, designation, business area, or anything about its organizational structure, reporting structure. And not just these, maybe more than that. So what is the way? The way SAP has invented is called InfoTypes. If you see the word and you break it in two types, uh, break it in two words, you will find info and types. And if you complete the word info, it will be information type. So the word InfoType itself describes what it is. Basically, InfoType is nothing but at the end, it is a table which saves a specific type of information. Since it is HR's information, so it would of course be about that employee's information. Now, if you say specific type, then you mean that when you have an info type one, let's say, so info type one is for organizational structure. So info type one will save anything and everything about the employee's organizational structure. Then you would have personal data, so you would have info type for personal data. Then you would have salaries, so you would have an info type for saving salaries. So basically, InfoType is nothing but the end of the day, a table that saves a specific type of information. But if it is just a table, then why do we call it as InfoType? Because it's not just a table. This table is going to save the data in, in, in terms of time dependency, means that the data may be valid for some specific time, which is again a different concept from rest of the modules. And whenever you say an info type, an info type will have a table, a structure, and a module pool program. So info type, no doubt, will have a table, but it is not just a table. An info type will be a module pool program, which will have a screen which will facilitate you to save the values into the table at the back end. So it will be a mix of two things majorly, the module pool program and the table, which holds the data for that particular type of information. And that module pool program helps or facilitates you to save the data into that table. So let's say if we talk about info type one, uh, uh, so one info type will have a table PA0001. Yes, PA would be the start of all the info types table. So if you want to say, uh, if you want to see the data or how, how does the table actually look like, you would follow the same convention. You will go to AC11 and see um, PA0001 to see the actual table look like, look and feel. And similarly for a structure, you would again go to AC11 and see. But um, if you want to see the module pool program, you would go to AC38 and just go uh, and type MP0001 or MP002 for info type 2 and then 00 would be the sub modules of the program. So what I'm actually trying to explain over here is that uh, info type is nothing but a module pool program facilitating uh, database maintenance for a table but the table is going to save a specific sort of information and so it is called an info type a mix of module pool program as well as the table so let's just have a walk of info type the transaction code to get into the info type maintenance is pa30 and it somehow looks like in the screenshot to understand more let's go to the system itself so you just type in PA30 and it will take you to the maintenance screen for any info type. And this is how it looks like. The first field over here is the personal number in which you will enter the employee number. And then you have another field called info type. So here you would enter your info type number. Then you would have a field for its subtype. So every info type uh, has some sub subtypes also. Uh, depending again on the subcategory of the type of information 
let's uh, say for the matter if I have an info type for saving my information then again I would want to have something for my personal information something for my uh, you know dependence information and so so you might want to have some subtypes and all then you would have date range this covers the time dependency from which date to which dates the existing data you want to see so you would enter the date let's just see one example to understand more I'm taking a case which has the personal number 1015 it, it, this is a number a random number and then we'll see the first info type and if I press enter you would see that in this screen there is something happening basically this is nothing but again an easy help if you are entering something over here for info type 1 you can also find the same info type over here so you can just go and click over here and then also do the display you would again get into the same environment which will be by just clicking over here directly that means this is nothing but a list of info types if you don't want to enter an info type you just click over here and then go but the good practice is always to try to remember a couple of info type or if not remembering just enter the number because you cannot have all list of info type this is of course not the whole list of info types that uh, this personal number has so I'm not entering anything about data so far so you can either do a display which will directly take you to the last you know active data but I would like to do this this is going to give me a list of uh, you know records that the personal number has from date 1800 to 9999 and why these dates are from the start of the time to the end of the time because I haven't entered anything in the uh, first screen so that this screen that you see is the first screen for info type 1 and this is uh, this is a module pool programs first screen and these are the data that you have for this personal number and the data record uh, is having a start date for its validity as 98 13 2 which means that this data is valid from this date and the end date to see end date let's just select this and press change or maybe display if you are in uh, the display mode and this will take you to the real records information so this record has my company codes information personal area cost center then you would have personal structure employee group employee subgroup percentage position and everything regarding my organizational assignment So after uh, seeing how input type looks like, let's just go and check the database, how actually database is looking and try to find uh, the concept of table that we just learned. So uh, since this info type is uh, uh, info type one organizational assignment. Uh, so as I was telling you that every info type has a table. So the table should be PA0001 as per our concept. And let's just see if this table exists yes this table exists and the table names is HR master record info type triple zero one which is our org assignment and if we go and display the table uh, and check with the personal number one zero one five the table itself has two records which you were able to see in a very explanatory way in info type and if we check the structure so the structure name should be PS0001 and sorry, triple zero. Okay, my insert is on, so it has to be triple zero one. So there we go. We have a structure as well with the same name. So that means an info type one uh, has a table actually at the back end and a structure. And the remaining last thing is the, the, the module pool program. Uh, so we will just go in SE38 and try to find the module pool program. So what I told was MP000100 should be the name of the program. And uh, this program would be a whole uh, bunch of uh, module pool programs uh, for, for, for top, for before output, for after input of every screen that you were able to see. Here we go with the program. So this program, as you can see, has a top module, and then you have a whole bunch of modules, 120, 20 to 2U, 30, but they will all start from MP0001. That means it's a module pool program for InfoType 1. 
So if you have to actually debug anything in, in, in the info type, you can come into SC38 and write in this name. Every info type will have an MP program.